It's official. Selena Gomez will portray Linda Ronstadt in an upcoming biopic on the 11-time Grammy and two-time Academy of Country Music Award winner. From a tragic love life to political controversies and health struggles, here are five surprising things that you can expect to be covered in the biopic. Number one, she had everything in life except a soulmate. She was born in one of Arizona's richest families. Even now, she has a net worth of more than $100 million. She adopted two children to start her own family but could never find the right man. She had some high-profile relationships that you can expect to be mentioned in the biopic. First, there was a relationship with then-Governor of California Jerry Brown that was under constant media scrutiny. In 1983, Ronstadt dated comedian Jim Carrey for eight months. From the end of 1983 to 1988, Ronstadt was engaged to Star Wars director and creator George Lucas. Number two, you can expect to see Selena Gomez in the biopic getting kicked out of a hotel, leading to a global controversy. Linda has always been very vocal about her political beliefs. In 2004, performing at the Aladdin Theater in Las Vegas, she praised Michael Moore's documentary Fahrenheit 9-11 about the Iraq War. She got mixed reactions from the crowd with both cheers and boos directed her way. Following the concert, she was evicted from the hotel premises. Linda's comments, the reactions of some audience members in the hotel, became a topic of international news headlines. She went on to call the then-president George Bush incompetent and immoral. Following the incident, many friends of Ronstadt's, including the Eagles, immediately canceled their engagements at the Aladdin. And that takes us to the next point. Linda played a critical role in the forming of the band, The Eagles. While scouting for musicians for her backing band, she came across Don Henley and Glenn Frey. The pair quickly figured out they had a good chemistry, and while on a tour with Ronstadt, they decided to form a band together and informed Linda of their intention. Frey later credited Ronstadt with suggesting lead-in for the band, and Linda's producer and boyfriend, John Boylan, recommended Randy Meisner. The band rehearsed at Linda's house in their early days, and that's how the Eagles were born. Expect this biopic to be one of Selena Gomez's more politically charged works. Recently in 2020, Linda said she sees great parallels between the U.S. under President Donald Trump and Adolf Hitler's Germany. She compared how the industrial complex thought they could control the two leaders once they got them in office, but they were not people who could be controlled and how the intellectuals and artists were too busy with their own thing, doing nothing to stop them. Again, her comments split the U.S. right down the middle and led to another major controversy. Selena will get to show her full range as an actor if the biopic also covers Linda's health struggles, the fall of a genius, life bringing them back to ground and showing the human side of a superstar. In 2013, Ronstadt revealed she was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, leaving her unable to sing due to loss of muscular control. When she was asked about the symptoms earlier, she had attributed it to the after effects of shoulder surgery and a tick bite. Six years later, in 2019, doctors revised their diagnosis to progressive supranuclear palsy. It is a degenerative disease commonly mistaken for Parkinson's due to the similarity of the symptoms. Which aspect of Linda's life are you looking forward to seeing in Selena's portrayal of her life? Let us know in comments. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you go.